Uh, this is a painting of Bubbles, my one of my favorite characters from Trailer Park Boys. Netflix kept recommending Trailer Park Boys, and I, I was like, I gotta see what this shit's all about. And so I clicked on it, and I started watching it, and was instantly hooked. I, I basically started watching the show from start to finish over and over again. I think I've done it about seven times. I just felt that Bubbles would be a great character. It's kind of the heart and soul of the Sunnyvale crew. When I was picking an image of Bubbles, I just wanted something that looked very Bubbles. Actually, in the shot, he's holding up uh, a vial of piss, because that was Julian's scheme at the time to uh, launder some clean piss for people so they could pass drug tests. The color palette was my attempt to capture the kind of just vast blue sky of a trailer park, because in the trailer park, you have no there's nothing in the sky. There's no building, no anything. So it's just a lot of blue sky. Um, and his face, I wanted it to be really hot, really warm. Like, uh, Bubbles is always getting really worked up because Ricky and Julian have them into some crazy antics with drugs and laundering money. Well, I mean, when you talk about Bubbles and, and choosing the headlines, I mean, certainly I had to pick a few that were, were was totally Bubbles, such as Sam Squanch, his uh, constant and perpetual fear of uh, the Bigfoot character that he calls a Sam Squanch. In the eye there, that's Steve French. The, uh, the mountain lion that he discovered that was eating their weed crops and he tried to adopt, but if you love him, let him go. If he comes back, he's yours, but you know, he did try to come back, but you have to let him go because you know, Bubbles can't have a mountain lion. Um, but yeah, Conky, obviously his alter ego, uh, the puppet that uh, was basically killed twice by Julian by being shot in the face. And uh, you know, he's big into space, so I put the spaceman there, and I have the spaceman there, and a big kitty, you know, he's all about the kitties. I mean, he rolls, he rolls with the kitties, and he's hard as fuck. Um, but yeah, those are, those are just a song, obviously decent for him, which is, uh, which is important. Mad Mike, because Mike Smith, the character, as we learned on Swearnet, can be a bit irascible, apparently. I don't know if that's his real personality, so, uh, but yeah, so all these, all these headlines, you know, Rush, it's his favorite band, he gets to play with them, and he used to be a touring musician, so, those are a few snippets of this painting. My favorite thing about the Trailer Park Boys is how authentic it is. There's, it's this ridiculous show about recidivist criminals wheeling and dealing in drugs in a trailer park and trying to make a living. There's a lot of heart and soul to it. The characters are really well developed. I mean, you know, you look at Mr. Leahy and Randy and their love affair and, you know, Ricky and, and his woman, they're constantly going back and forth. Lucy's banging all sorts of guys around town, but they always come back together, so. You know, and Bubbles and Ricky and Julian, that trifecta of friendship, even, you know, the side characters like J-Rock, it's more emotional than you'd expect. I mean, I think if you like liquor and dope, you'll probably like it more than the average bear, but Trail Park Boy is a damn fine show. I think probably coming up next, I'll have to paint uh, Ricky or Julian, although Mr. Leahy is definitely someone I'd love to explore. A lot of people already said don't paint Randy, but Randy's got his own cheeseburgerly goodness that I might have to paint at some point. We'll see. I think ultimately I would love to be on the Trailer Park Boys. Perhaps the subplot could be, you know, maybe I, I go up to Sunnyvale and I set up my easel to do some painting and I, I talk to uh, Julian and he says, how much you sell these for? And I tell him, you know, I'm selling them for like 10 grand and he comes up with a scheme where they could buy my paintings and then they could sell them through a gallery to launder their drug money. I would love to be on the show, obviously, even if I was just fucking around as one of the side guys and, you know, hanging out with Corey and whoever, but, That'd be great.